I'm Devin Ferracci with Badass Digest. I'm here at Bob Burns' basement in Burbank, California. This is one of the premier locations that uh, collects the most amazing movie props and memorabilia of all time. I mean, right now we're standing in front of the Sulaco from Aliens. I mean, this is this is it. Uh, this is Muftak from, from, from Star Wars. Uh, uh, and I'm here uh, with another movie prop, uh, Noah Segan, uh, <laughs> one of the stars of Looper. You are one of the bad guys in Looper. I'm a bad, bad guy. I do a, a poor job as a bad guy. So do we sort of like you because you're um, not that good? at being bad? I hope so. I mean, at, le <laughs> at least it's entertaining. You right. know? It's uh, more nebulous than just being bad for bad's sake, I, I think. Your character's name has an interesting history. My character's name does have an interesting history. It's uh, Kid Blue. And uh, Kid Blue is a sort of obscure comedy western from the early 70s. So the yeah. fact that Ryan is sort of writing yeah. a character with you in mind means that you and Ryan, like, you're, you guys, you're like one of his regular guys. Well, I have a lot of dirt on him. I know some things okay. uh, that he's done. Uh, and I, I think I know some things that he may do. You know? <laughs> um, so he's, he's a little, you know, it, it just, just purely out of fear, he continues to work with me. Right. Yeah. But you guys started together in Brick. We did. Brick was my first movie. Did you, how, did you, how, how, how did you meet Ryan? Uh, sort of the old-fashioned way. I, I had just started to, to get into the idea of acting. And um, uh, someone suggested, I was a camera assistant, I wanted to be a cameraman, I wanted to be a cinematographer, and, and someone on a set suggested that I think about acting, that right. I might enjoy that. And they introduced me to somebody, introduced me to somebody else who sent me on a few auditions, which is sort of the normal, you know, thing to do. And one of the auditions was Brick. I know Ryan a little bit, and I think people know Ryan from Brick and, and Brothers Bloom, mm -hmm. and maybe even from his Breaking Bad episodes, they don't realize that Ryan's a big nerd. And I think Looper really kind of reflects a little bit of Ryan's nerdiness, would you say? I, I hope so. You know, Brick obviously is is so directly connected to, really specifically Hammett, to, right. to Maltese Falcon, right? Which is a very, I mean, it's a very intellectual thing to be... Uh, uh, here in the 21st century and have a bunch of kids sort of retelling the story of the Maltese Falcon in the contemporary sense and then to sort of, you know, then to move on and to, you know, create this sort of very tight, classic con man right. uh, caper story, you know, and, and, and black and white clothes and bowler hats and that sort of thing. It's like, right. again, that's very uh, intellectual, if not nerdy. Um, They're the already intellectual that, in a way that the, the Looper's much more genre nerdy yes. in a way that people weren't expecting from exactly. him. Exactly, and that's the thing, is that right. I think that, that what Looper represents is a direct connection to the sci-fi genre. Sort of tangentially, right, to the comic book genre, to the action genre, you know, with the Bruce Willis angle, and then there's makeup, and then there's effects, and does there's a little overlap genre-wise, but obviously sci-fi just immediately makes it geeky. Right. right. Immediately makes us go, okay, we know an audience here that's into this. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, Noah, thank you so much, man, for coming and, oh, and, and standing in front of Muftak. Um, I appreciate I was, that. I'm so honored to be standing near Muftak and the Queen back there. I, I really like your corduroy jacket. I like your corduroy jacket. Thanks. That is nice. Yes. Well, we're the Corduroy Brothers, just... and uh, we're here in Burbank. <laughs> uh, I'm Devin Faraci. This is Badass Digest.